Hello everybody, I'm David Lowry with Club Fantasy. Today we're going to take a look at Battle Cruisers from Tasty Minstrel Games. And I um, just wanted to go over this. This has been out a little while, but I think it's a very underrated game. Um, I think it kind of slipped under the radi radar. It's uh, 20 minutes long, 3 to 5 players, uh, ages 13 and up. And it's designed by uh, famed designer Philip DeBerry. And if you know anything about Philip, you know he makes some great games. So uh, we're hoping that um, uh, you guys will like this as well. Anyway, Eminent Domain, it's uh, Battle Cruises is set in the Eminent Domain universe from Tasty Minstrel. Uh, for those of you familiar with the original game, um, it's a very good game, nice card game. And this takes place, obviously, in that same universe but only pretty much with the artwork. I wouldn't say that this necessarily feels like Eminent Domain, but it certainly takes place um, in that universe. And I'm sorry, but for all the noise going on in the background, I don't think they're aware that I'm down here live streaming right now. So, um, in the game, we've got uh, f uh, three to five players, and there is a base game um, that you can start with, which is what this deck of cards right here is going to be. Uh, the first person to 15 points wins the game, and it it scales well for three players, four players, and five players. So with three players, you start with six cards. Four players, you start with seven cards. Five players, you start with eight cards. If for some reason you get to a point where nobody can get to 15 points after say about five rounds of frustration, you can call it an interminable game, and nobody will win. Everybody loses that game. Um, within the game itself. Starting with the base game, basic game, everybody pulls the cards from their piles based on the number of cards. So on the basic hand, it's going to be 3, 11, 13, 22, 31, 43. If you have another player, so player number 4 is going to be 29, and player number 5 is going to add the 17 card in this particular game. Now, as you can see, there are many different games that you can play within the Eminent Domain Battle Cruisers universe. This adds a lot of variety and flexibility to the game, and each uh, option there really feels pretty different. So it's nice, nice uh, addition to a quick 20-minute game. So how it works, basically, is uh, everybody's trying to get to their 15 points, obviously. You can recognize the chips here from the, the regular Eminent Domain universe. And then here are the reminder chips if somebody's protected or if they're disabled. What happens is everybody starts with their same hand of cards. They randomly shuffle them. And start the game. You're going to place one face down in the discard pile. You're going to place one face down randomly in the recovery zone. That way, everybody has four cards to start with. You don't know what four you start with at first, and nobody else knows what you have either. So everybody's cards are a little bit random at this point. Uh, as you play a card, you lay it... I'm going to pull these back a little bit so it makes a little more sense to you. If, you. if you play a card, you would play it face down in the end play area, and at the same time, everybody flips them up, and in order of the number of cards, the lowest going first, you will, you will uh, activate that card. So, if nobody else has played a three, then I get to activate the text. If somebody else plays a three... Both of our cards are nullified, and there's a clash effect, so you, you resolve the clash effect. If somebody has a card with a text that refers to a certain symbol, then if your card has that symbol, your card is affected by that particular text. Once that card has been played, it gets flipped over, it goes to the discard pile, the discard pile comes over to the recovery zone, the recovery zone comes back into the player's hand, so you're rotating your cards. Some of these cards will have effects that allow you to steal somebody else's card and put it in your hand. So you may have more than one of the same type of card. Some will give you victory points, uh, like this one does. Some will give you um, the ability to have somebody discard a card or you know something along that line. So each one has a different effect. The idea is you're trying to out-bluff your other opponents, and hopefully they aren't playing the same card as you trying to get them to discard their cards as fast as possible so they're down to one or fewer cards. Once they go to one card, then their player map flips over to the red alert side and they know they're in danger. Everybody knows they're in danger of being out of the game. And if you also notice, there's a turn sequence on the player map itself. So, what do I think about the game? Well, for a 20-minute game, um, I 
think that the folks at Tasty Minstrel and the designer, Philip DeBerry, did an amazing job in putting together a nice um, strategic game full of tension and intrigue. This has a really neat social deduction feel to it, even though it's not really a social deduction game per se. But that tension that you get, um, the, the, the camaraderie that you get across the table with the table talk, um, and there's a lot of there's a lot to it. It really adds a nice little uh, feel. Everybody's playing the same deck, so there's no imbalance. Um, the game is very balanced in that way. And because of the, all the options with the different formats that you can play, um, you get so much replayability and value for this game. Unfortunately, in today's gaming culture, especially in the last three years or so, with the whole cult of the new phenomenon, it's like people buy games, but they never really get to play them hardly at all. You don't, you don't ever get to play them enough to get to know them because you're on to the next game, and you're on to the next game, they keep coming out. Um, and that's a real shame because the good thing about board games is that if they're any good, you can play them over and over and over and not get tired of them. And if they're any good and you're any good at gaming, you're always going to get deeper into the game. You're going to figure out more strategies, better ways to do things. Um, and you can't do that in five or six plays. Um, I remember not that long back, Jamie Stegmeyer had asked on Facebook, how many times do you expect to play a game in your collection? And my answer is at least 25. I mean, if I'm not playing at least 25 times, what do I spend the money on it for? Um, I want the value for my dollar. Um, and Battle Cruisers here, Eminent Domain Battle Cruisers, um, has so much replayability to it and it's so quick and easy to learn that you are definitely going to get your play value out of this game. I highly recommend it. It's, it's, a, it's a really good game. It's um, something that fits pretty much any play style. Uh, so right now, you know, deduction games, social deduction games are hot. Um, there's no reason this shouldn't be as well. I don't, in my, in my head, I can't think of anybody that wouldn't like to play this. I know that everybody I've played it with has enjoyed it. Everybody's wanted to play it over and over and over again. So um, I think that that is a, a, a real strong testimony to how uh, well this game has uh, turned out. Um, and like I said, well, this is my third time recording this because I was having sound issues. But like I said in the beginning of at least the other two videos, that uh, at first when I first got this, I was a little uh, meh about it just because I just wasn't real sure. Um, for whatever reason, the, the, the description of it didn't grab me or something. I don't know what it was. But once I broke it out and got to play it um, with the people at Tennessee Game Days, uh, it, it just really kind of exploded um, in, in how everybody felt about it and thought about it. So um, Tasty Minstrel did a, a good job on this game, absolutely. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 stars. Um, it's a 20-minute game. Um, it's not amazing in the sense of like, wow, I've got to play this every day or whatever like that, but it is a really good game. It's really well done, and just to having the option for all of these different setups for your game where you have uh, a different feel, um, you know, you're not playing the same game over and over and over again. Uh, the mechanics might be the same, but the feel is completely different. So, 7 out of 10 stars. Uh, definitely talk about it. Try it out if you haven't. It's definitely worth your time. Go to playtmg.com to find out more about it. And if you do play any of these games, obviously when you're sharing your pictures or whatever on social media, please share a little bit of your experience as well so that people get a good idea whether or not these are games that they want to pick up. Um, thank you to Tasty Minstrel for sending this to me. They did send me this game for review. Um, and it's, it's a really good game. It's a really good 20-minute game. So 7 out of 10 stars. Uh, if you like what we offer you here at Club Fantasy, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. All of our social media links are in the description. And um, if you like this table that you see, this table is courtesy of BoardGameTables.com. So check them out and let them know that you heard about their tables or saw their table at Club Fantasy. And uh, it, these are beautiful tables. Um, I love it. This is a real blessing to us. So thank you to BoardGameTables.com. Thank you to TMG for uh, giving us a, a great game to review. And thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel again and share, share, share. I'm David Lowry with Club Fantasy.
Thank you for watching. Game on.